Where is Waldo? The question that I'm often asked when people find out that I keep reptiles is, is it expensive? Can you keep a reptile for under this amount per year? So I'm here to tell you that you can keep a reptile for under 100 bucks a year, and this is how you do it. So every reptile has certain care requirements, uh, caging, lighting, food, water, uh, humidity, UVB, you name it. A reptile needs uh, different types uh, of care in order to survive. So we'll just use common ball python here as an example. So this is a big female. Uh, she's actually het for albino, so when I pair her with my male albino, we're going to be able to get some babies out of them that are completely albino. Now, she's being kind of curious right now, so we're just going to let her do her own thing. Uh, when you pick up a snake, you always hold it by the bottom and let it kind of hold on to you. If it's a constrictor type, it doesn't work with hog nose, but we'll talk about that in another episode. We'll go uh, right from the top. The most expensive thing is food. And for a snake, uh, just using a ball python for example, food be can be kind of expensive. If you were, were to go to PetSmart or uh, one of the big name brand type pet stores, you could be paying $5 a rat sometimes. Now, what I do is I found a breeder who breeds rats and quails and mice and things like that around my area, uh, and this guy comes and delivers, and he does it at a much cheaper price. And even at a reptile store, you're probably gonna pay three or four bucks for a medium-sized rat, which is what this girl here needs, full adult uh, ball python. So what I do with mine is I get them in bulk, I get them uh, frozen, she only eats live. She's the only snake that I have that eats live, so uh, I usually get an order about once every 10 days, once every 14 days, uh, which is how often she eats. But let's suppose you do once every 10 days for an adult ball python, one that's a little bit smaller than this, and you want to feed them a medium-sized rat. Now, if you're in the States, you're going to pay a little bit less than what we pay here in Canada for rats. You pay a little bit less for everything. So let's suppose that you can get them for two bucks, two dollars a rat, and you feed 10 times a year, right? So that means that you're feeding 36 Point five times a year, two dollars a rat, seventy-three dollars. So right there for food, seventy-three bucks. Now I said you can keep a snake for under hundred bucks a year. Here's how the rest of it breaks down. Basically for water, free. Uh, a lot of people suggest that you put Reptisafe or some sort of dechlorinization agent uh, in your uh, water for your snakes. I don't really think it's that necessary unless you have a really unsanitary source of water. You should be alright. I've never put Reptisafe or anything like that in with any of my snakes, lizards, anything. Um, I missed with a, a regular tap water as well. My dog drinks the tap water. I drink the tap water. So let's just say, where are you going here, sweetie? So let's say the water portion of your upkeep is free. Lighting is another thing. Uh, for a ball python like this, you don't actually need any lighting at all. Uh, you can just use an under tank heater or heat emitter or whatever the case is. But let's suppose that um, you use a 50 watt bulb. 50 watt bulb, you'd have to check how much energy costs in your area. Here in southern Ontario, we pay more than most anybody. The only one that's even close to us is parts of southern California. Most places will be cheaper. So for me, a uh, 50 watt bulb is about $25 a year. Now, of course, I use rack systems. For most of my snakes so if you were to use even just an under tank heater say heat tape for example four watts a foot for a four inch uh tape i believe it is so i calculated out say a 20 watt heat tape setup or under tank heater um, you're paying six dollars and change will round it up to seven bucks so right there 80 bucks is the total that we're at so far food water lighting and heating that's all taken care of really everything else in terms of bedding uh, if you want to go for a more naturalistic substrate like an aspen eco earth whatever s some people suggest you change it out once a month two months six months whatever the case is as long as you're spot cleaning you don't have to change it out that much uh, that might cost you another 40 bucks to 80 bucks a year but we said we can keep it under 100 bucks right so we're gonna be over at that if you just want to use newspaper or paper towel so let's suppose that you use newspaper. I'm right up my shirt now, honey. Let's suppose that you just want to use newspaper. A lot of places like here, I get the uh, Niagara Falls Review just thrown at my door. I don't order it, I don't pay for it, I don't want it. It just shows up. And one of those is good for several months of keeping a snake. So food, 73 bucks a year. Supposing you feed one rat every 10 days. Uh, your water is free. Your 
caging is free, the bedding of your cage is free. Uh, your heating is going to cost you between 25 bucks at the high end, 7 bucks at the low end. Probably even less than that in some parts of the states, I'd imagine. Uh, and then the other thing is cleaning, right? You need cleaning products. Now, what I always use when I have just a few reptiles is I use Dawn dish soap. You can use it on ducks, uh, you know, to actually clean spills off like they do in the commercial. You're probably good to, to use it for a reptile enclosure. So that's what I always use. Now I put Medusa back in her cage, she started hissing at me a little bit, she is getting a little bit uh, into shed, into blue there, a little bit of film over her eyes. Um, so for the cleaning, Dawn dish soap works fine, uh, or whatever your brand of choice is, as long as you rinse it really well with water afterwards, there's no soap residue. I clean water bowls with it, everything else. Now that I've got a bigger collection, I use a veterinary sanitizer. Um, F10 is the one that I choose. This stuff right here, I've had this for about two years now and it's still about half full and there is no expiry on it, right? Oh, yeah, so expiry 2020, so I'm good until next year. Uh, and this is 3.4 ounces. Now, at one point I had 70 reptiles, so if you buy one of these, it's going to expire before you're done. I think it was 34 bucks Canadian. So you can use a veterinary sanitizer, uh, but at the end of the day, you're going to have Dawn dish soap around, so we'll call that zero. So to wrap it all up, food, 73 bucks. Your bedding is free. Your water is free. Heat's gonna cost you between 25 bucks at the high end, seven dollars at the low end. And that's basically it. If you want to use UVB, that's a different thing. But the entire point of the video is, can you keep a reptile for under 100 bucks? And the answer is yes. You definitely can. Now, in terms of a setup for a reptile, if you want to know how much a setup's gonna be, well, let's go over it next week. I wanted to put this one out first to let you know that if you want to keep a reptile, it is affordable. I don't want to scare you away with the upfront cost because that video is going to be a little bit higher on everything. So that's this week's video. Is keeping a reptile expensive? Well, it can be, but it definitely doesn't have to be. You can keep your reptile completely happy, completely healthy uh, for under a hundred bucks a year. Thanks very much for watching. If there's something you want me to go on about in next week's video or a future video, put it down in the comments below. I'm just here to learn about reptiles with all of you guys. Uh, I'm no expert. I'm just a dummy with a bunch of snakes. Until next week, thank you very much for watching Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles. See you next week.